Let's take a look at example number six, solving for missing dimensions. The question says, if the circumference of a tabletop is 75 inches, what is its diameter? So what is our trigger? Anytime we're dealing with geometry questions, we're always given some type of what dimension. So they give us 75 inches. And what is that describing? That's describing the circumference. All right, and we know that anytime we have circumference, we're dealing with a what? A circle. All right, so second thing we need to do is figure out what formula do we need to apply? So we look at our question again, it says, if the circumference of a tabletop is 75 inches, what is its diameter? So we know we're looking for the diameter. They give us the circumference, so we're gonna use the formula for circumference, which is pi times the diameter, right? And of course, you guys have to know that pi is a given. They will not give that to you for this exam. Pi is equal to 3.14. All right, and of course we know the circumference is 75. So we're gonna take the values that we're given, we're gonna plug them into this equation and we're gonna solve for the diameter. All right, so instead of C, we're gonna substitute in 75. And instead of pi, we're gonna substitute in 3.14. And then we'll solve, we're solving for D. So remember, solving these questions successfully is heavily connected to solving equations. So if you're someone who's struggling with solving equations, wait until you finish cluster five and then double back to complete these questions. So if I have 3.14 times D, I'm gonna go ahead and stick those together so it's easier for you guys to kind of separate them. All right, so anytime we're solving equations, you always do the opposite of what you see. So if 3.14 and D are multiplied together, if I want to separate them, I'm going to do the opposite of that, which is what? Divide. All right, so I'm going to divide both sides. And you always do the same thing twice. Equal sign lets us know we have to keep it balanced. So whatever you do on one side, you always have to do it to the other side. So these are going to cancel out. All right, and then 75 divided by 3.14 is going to give us a lone decimal. It's going to give us 23.88535. All right, this question specified that you guys needed to round to the nearest 10. So that's another sub skill that you guys have to have in order to be able to complete this question. And if you're still struggling with that, make sure you guys check out my review videos in cluster one and practice questions as well. All right, so the 10th place is gonna be the first value after the decimal, which is an eight. We're gonna assess the value to the right of it, which is an eight, which means our eight is gonna increase by one to nine. All right, and always include your units. In this case, we're dealing in inches. So the diameter is going to be equal to 23.9. So if we take a look at our question again from the top, it says, if the circumference of a tabletop is 75 inches, what is its diameter? So what is our trigger? Well, they give us some type of dimension, 75 inches. What is that? describing the circumference, which further lets me know I'm dealing with what? A circle. All right, so now that we have identified our shape, now we need to figure out which formula we need to apply. Well, if they give us the circumference, that also lets me know I'm gonna be using the formula for circumference, which is pi times d. So remember, pi is a given, it's 3.14, and they will not give you guys that value. All right, they also gave us the circumference, and we are solving for the diameter. So I make a list just so I can see what's being given and what we're looking for. I plug in my values, solve to get the variable by itself, and we ended with 23.9 inches.